How'd you guys spend the uh, the off week? I'm sure you were off. Uh, uh, we had a great practice uh, for those last three days. It was very intense, but you know, Coach Meyer uh, gave us a little bit of leeway. He didn't really kill us last week, so we'll be fresh for this week. <laughs> Curtis, uh, Titus said that the game plans this year are simpler and the roles are more defined. Is that what you're finding at the linebacker position as well? Yes, uh, it's easier to make adjustments and calls and we can just get lined up and go play. Where is that coming from? Where's the source of that simplification and the, the increased role definition? Is that uh, Ash's influence? Where is that? To be honest, I don't know. I think it's basically everybody on the defensive side. I mean... That's all coach talks about each and every week. If we if we can't run it good in practice, or just throw it out so we can play even faster come Saturday. Is that sort of the mentality? The mentality you play fastest when, and usually the answer is you play fastest when you know what you're doing. So if you don't know what you're doing, you guys just toss it out and, and maybe just keep it as simple as possible so you can play fast. Right. Um, the more thing you have to do, you know, it's so you only get so many seconds before the offense snaps the ball, and then you trying to think and make checks slows you down, and when you can just do it naturally instead of thinking about what you have to do, it's way better. Curtis Tyvis was talking about the challenge with Rutgers play action that they do very well. As a middle linebacker, I'm wondering what that is like for you, what that presents for you. Uh, the play action pass in the two back set is it's a little bit easier for the mic because we can just go. You know, a lot of times it's, mm -hmm. you know, you fit in the fullback, so, you know. When you got two backs back there, the first thing you're thinking is stop the run. So, I mean, it adds to the passing defense as well. So, you know, it's kind of like a blitz, but not all the time. But, you know, if you feel the high hat, you'll get back in coverage. If you don't, you know, you just go get the quarterback. Does this feel like going against a more conventional offense this week as you as you get ready, Curtis? I mean, how would you describe them offensively? Uh, I would say more of my type of game, you know, mm -hmm. uh, full backs and, you know, staying inside the box and, you know, running to go fit gaps is – a lot easier than trying to carry a speed receiver at a yeah. at the number three spot. Yeah, you know when you watch your quarterback Gary Nova, uh, what stands out about him from what you've watched on video so far? He's a good athlete. Uh, he can run, and you know he can hit you with the pass too. So you you got to play him. Yeah. You know you just can't take it for granted. You know drop it back in coverage. You don't think he's going to run because he'll go he'll go make the first down play. Does he look pretty disciplined now? Last year, uh, you know he was kind of throwing the ball all over the lot. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. <laughs> I mean, does he? What is he? Would you describe him as disciplined? How would you describe him well, in I'd that say, regard? I say he's a better player. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, he could throw the ball from what I've seen very well. So, my pass coverage is going to have to be pretty good this week. Curtis, with with how many teams run the spread now? You know, some version of the spread. You're talking about like this is sort of more your kind of game. Do you ever wish it was like? Ten years ago, you know, like for a guy like I mean, you know, maybe a little more physical game, like, you know, yeah, run yeah. the ball more, that kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, the game's turned into a lot of passing game. I call it seven on seven. You know, oh. you know, for the middle linebacks, we like to run and go hit. And, you know, at pass coverage, you you really don't get to hit that many people now unless you jam somebody at the line or you know, you're always in coverage. So this is more fun game for the LBs in general. You know, just not being out there on the island, far as a Sam or a Will Backer. You know, everybody, you can have all three of your linebackers in the box, and you can really see them play then. Well, this is more a your type of game. Is it almost harder to get ready for? Conventional I formation offense that uses a fullback simply because you don't see it very often. Usually, getting ready for spread, spread teams. Uh, no, uh, not at all. I mean, you're still gonna have the same techniques and fundamentals. So, you know, you just gotta like each and every week you have different keys to read. So, I mean, this week we will go back to our keys that we read in the conventional offense instead of what we read in the spread. Curtis, you guys are obviously playing well lately. Is anything different about life though? because you have an early loss this year, as opposed to the previous two years, you guys were rolling through the, the regular season undefeated, just as you sort of like try to figure out where Ohio State fits in the national picture and just anything like that. Is there any, what's different when you have a loss this early? Uh, it's a big wake up and you know, it makes everybody hungry. So, you know, everybody comes in and is willing to work and you know, the competition in each and every room on our team is so, so crazy that it makes us want to come out and get better each and every week. So, I mean, I guess it just take, takes over on the field on Saturday. How'd you spend you just, your Saturday? Hmm? How'd you spend your Saturday off? Uh, I actually slept the whole day. I slept for like 14 <laughs> hours. I don't, <laughs> I don't know how I did it. I was looking to go out and have some fun or, you know, go out to the country and do something. But I just couldn't find myself to get off the couch, and I don't know why. But it must be a great thing because, you know, we got a long season ahead of us.
Go out to the country and do something. What do you mean? You mean go uh, take a hike or what? <laughs> <laughs> what, what does that mean? Uh, me, uh, I wanted to go hunting or go four wheeling this weekend, so yeah. I didn't really get up off my couch, so it didn't matter. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Curtis, can you describe what this season has been like for you personally? Uh, senior year, it's been a up and down career. You finally get to start, but mm -hmm. but there's this freshman who's who's obviously a, a talented player, and and you're helping him. Mm -hmm. Just the kind of the dynamic that you're experiencing this year. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. It's been a blast. Just to be honest, I mean. They come in and have a great team and, you know, and everybody wants to keep it getting better and, you know, we're, and we're winning and we're doing it together. It's not just one person. So, I mean, you can't get mad at what the coach's decisions are. You just got to keep playing each and every week. What does being a captain of this team mean to you? I don't know if we asked you that. Maybe we did. But um, do you carry yourself differently? or? It's a big honor. I mean, you can't do the things that you would do as you if you weren't a captain you know it's kind of more of a leadership role so like each and every day it's like i got to make sure i'm here if i'm here at 12 40 each and every day i feel good if i'm late i feel bad because i mean that's usually the time i get here so it's just little things like that like you know oh, I, I took the wrong step and it's like oh man I, if i do it then maybe he'll do it so you know it's kind of more just carrying yourself in a better way Curious, i was gonna ask you i mean is raekwon almost your shadow how would you describe Y'all's relationship. Obviously, we've written, we've all written about you guys being mm -hmm. good friends. You showing him the way. I mean, you guys were sitting on the bench the other day after practice, taking y'all the only ones sitting there, and you're sitting right next to each other. You're taking your shoes off, and you're both untying mm -hmm. your shoes the same way. I mean, describe y'all's relationship. I guess are you? It, what's it like? I guess it's kind of a crazy relationship. I like I told him I said I never had a little brother before, and uh, always wanted a little brother, and it was like yeah. it's kind of cool to see somebody that you never met a day in your life until till they get up here and uh, recruiting and y'all kind of so much alike and so like each and every day we leave class at the same time we get here at the same time we do always do the same thing we watch film together hang out on the weekend so it's like a big brother little brother relationship and you know I could tell them no matter how hard this football thing gets or what the coaches decisions make I mean that's not gonna come between our friendship yeah because it's bigger than that I mean when, football is only temporary when did it strike you though you were a five-star at one point one of the top guys in the country. He was a five-star. When did it strike you that he was that kind of guy and not some kind of snooty, you know, uh, I know it all kind of, it's my turn to play kind of fella? Um, actually, the recruiting, you know, uh, they actually put me with him, me and Ryan last year. And uh, ever since then, he just, he's never came up here and thought he was bigger than the program. He's just been a humble guy. And, uh, you know, I respect him for that. Hey, Curtis, during recruiting and you're, when you're hosting guys like that, do you ever feel pressure as a player or a responsibility as a player of like this better go well for them I mean obviously recruiting is a huge part of this team's success mm -hmm. and that's a big job to have I mean I always wonder what maybe your mindset might be while you're in charge of hosting somebody that Ohio State really wants to add uh, it's not any pressure for me because a, a recruit's gonna do what he want to do you know I don't pressure anybody to come in here and I just kick it to him real I mean what you see is what you get from this program man if you can't handle the pressure from the program, then you don't belong here. You mentioned the guys. You mentioned Couple more questions. A big brother, little brother relationship. <laughs> mm -hmm. Little brothers oftentimes do things that are annoying to big brothers. He ever, does he ever annoy you in a, in a way that a little brother would? No, nah, because majority of the time we both tired. So, <laughs> so it's like we have a good conversation. It's like we both just shut up and we either go home or come to the Woody. So, you know. Curtis, when you were when you were a young guy, was there an older guy? who sort of did for you what you're now doing for Raekwon? Uh, in a way. I mean, I had people like Barry Jackson and Nate Oliver, you know, AT and Sabino, those guys, they tried to help me a lot, but it wasn't like I was trying to buy in. I was more being far away from those guys instead of just trying to be a part. Okay. Why, why, why was that? I don't know. I tried to do it by myself more than, because that's how I pretty much did it everything growing up, not let somebody wanted to follow me. I never really followed anybody else. So me following someone else was different. So I think that's kind of my setback. Curtis, can Last you question. off from Chug's question from earlier about an early season loss? Is this team maybe tighter and have better chemistry because you have gone through some adversity together? Uh, yes, I mean, from the time Braxton got hurt until the time we took our first loss, everybody's just been working constantly. You know, as you can see each and every week, the offense is getting better and the defense is getting better. So if we coach preaches about the end of the season, that we need to be better than we were at the 
beginning. And if we continue to keep doing this, we'll be pretty good. Were you last year better at the end than the beginning? Uh, no. I think we just stayed at a neutral point, and that kind of set us back. Curtis, thank you very thank much. You. Thanks, Curtis. Yep.